This installation is a completely dark room, approximately 40 by, by 50 feet. It's a eight-channel audio installation consisting of four pairs of speakers. Each pair of speaker is approximately 40 feet across from each other, facing each other. And what is playing through each pair is the sound of a car approaching and the sound of a car leaving. It's a computer-controlled installation in which each lane is controlled with a random interval. So a car may be coming down one lane and then you may have no cars coming down other lanes or you may have four cars traveling at one time. This is how the installation works if no one is in it. If someone comes in it, however, this is where the interactivity comes into play. If someone is standing in a lane or in front of a speaker, when a car is approaching, the car will screech to a halt. The system has recognized your presence and it will then sit there and idle. Once you leave, it will then continue on its way across the room or technically through the other speaker. And if you remain standing in that lane, though, for approximately eight seconds, another car will come and smash into the, into the parked car. All of this is experienced completely in the dark, right. so people don't know what's going to happen. That's right. Actually, I've got to tell you, Don, this installation is one of the talks of the Sound Symposium here. What was your goal? What did you try to elicit from the participant? Initial motivation was to create a, a sound installation in complete darkness. The content of the piece, though, for me is about fear, and is that often people are afraid of things that they can't see. There's nothing to be frightened of in here. Okay, I guess we're at the curb now, Don. That's right. And well, why don't we just step out in the traffic and see what happens. Okay. We're into the first lane. Oh, jeez. So if we remain here now, we're going to hear another car coming in a few seconds. There it is. And it's this car before us has politely stopped for us. The other cars are coming too quickly, so they will continue smashing into that car. Now when we step out though, these cars will continue on their way. There they go. Now we're standing in front of a speaker, and we just tripped the uh, light switch. Is that the way it worked? Is uh, how to, to activate it? It's actually infrared. If you look on top of each speaker is uh, an infrared beam, which is being shot across the space, and that's being communicated then to the computer, which is controlling the sounds. So I feel we're standing between <laughs> we're two lanes of traffic. Why don't we step into another lane, see what happens? It's idling. It's waiting for us. That's right. Okay. Well, let's let it go by and we'll try another lane. There it goes. Another lane. These cars are going in this what direction. What if I stand here too long? If you stand here, the cars will just keep smashing into each other. Let's... You can also have more than one person in here. Right. It's actually most exciting because you can have four lanes that are being blocked at once. So, Don, what's the response been to this? It's, uh, it's For me, it was quite frightening. I mean, the, the, the speaker system was quite good. It was quite realistic sounding. It was loud. What have you heard from other patrons? People are either frightened or they find it very funny. In the past, when it was exhibited, it was set up in such a situation that people were forced to walk through it. That exhibit had ten large installations. This one was at the front of the museum. You were forced to walk through this if you wanted to see the other installations. And there are a few people who could not walk through it. In this case, it's, it's set up a bit more kindly. People can open the door, see what it is, and leave if they want.